visit when they at the hospital. We didn't think she'd be here that long. But you know, I was supposed to visit her Sunday. Uh, Stephanie, I appreciate you asking me to do that. And I was going to be there at 3 o'clock. But God had other plans, didn't he? God had other plans. Now, if y'all allow me, I would just call her Nan. I know that many of y'all call her Virginia. It's always been Nan to me, so if you'd allow me, Steph, Roger, just call her Nan. I'm so glad today that Nan took you took care of this day years ago. Steph and I talked about this day. And she assured me that Nan was saved. Uh, I, you know, I appreciate that so much. And you know, I, she knew Christ as her personal savior. Y'all, that's the only thing that matters. When you can really get down to it, that is the only thing that matters. Your relationship with Jesus Christ. I have found that uh, in times like this, not if they come, but when they come. God's grace is sufficient for us. And he said he'd never leave us nor forsake us. He yeah, hasn't left y'all today their family. He's right there with you. And I want you to know that. But nothing else can, can comfort like God's word. Y'all know. Now friends can do a whole lot. Family can do a lot more. But friend, but God's word is it's a comforting power. I want to read God's word to you today. It says, and you know these verses. You've You've raised up repeating these verses. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with all my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. I love these verses. Nan was very friendly to me. I didn't spend a whole lot of time with Nan. <clears throat> but I knew, and I'm going to go out on a limb. Stephanie already told me. She loved me. She loved Gerald. And I know some of y'all don't hear. But Nan loved your baby. And I appreciate that so much. She loved me. No doubt about it. Uh, today is a hard day. And this 23rd Psalms is so familiar uh, that uh, it simply says God's our shepherd. Even in times like this right here, God, Roger, is our shepherd. He leads us and guides us. He guides us. And that spiritual nourishment that we all need. Do you ever need spiritual nourishment? Amen. Amen. I do too. I need it a lot of times. I need it a bunch. As a shepherd leads his sheep, God leads us. Have you ever thought about that? I like that song that's just been played. You know, no doubt he leads us and he's, he's, he uh, restores us. I need restoration sometimes in my life. Do you? I need to be restored sometimes. And the Bible says he protects us. I'm so glad, Brother David, he protects us. I am so glad that God protects us. He protected man too. He protected man too. From the valley of deep darkness, from the shadow of death. I like that. The shadow of death. I'm old fashioned, y'all. For those who are saved, you never die. You just get promoted. Man has reached her destination. She's got her promotion. And the psalmist David realized that God would be with him everywhere, even through his whole life. So he concluded, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever family and friends. That's where Nan is. I know Nan made some mistakes in life. I'm sure I didn't. I mean, I know I have. But aren't you glad to know that you can't work your way to heaven? It's a gift. Aren't you proud of that? And all we got to do is accept Christ as our personal Savior. I am so glad that Nan did that. These assurances should should comfort our hearts. Comfort our hearts today. Uh, if you're here today and don't know Christ, doesn't come back first, you're going to die. That's the message of death. We, we're going to die. And the message of death is for those who die when they when they die and they're, they're a Christian, they get to go to heaven. That's a bargain right there. I tell you what, I get excited when I think of heaven. Stephanie, uh, I get excited when I think of heaven. The older I get, the more excited I get. You know, let me tell you something. No more crying up there. No more dying up there. We're going to say our love us Imagine, can you imagine 
Nancy and her son, David. Can you imagine that? Just imagine. That's what's happening. Can you imagine seeing her mom and dad that she hadn't seen for years and years and years? That's what's happening. And many, many more family and friends. So family, I want you to know today that man is fine. She's with the Lord. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That's where man is. So as pastor of Tate's Creek Baptist Church, and as the Lord has called Sister Nan Foster home, I grant transfer of letter for Nan Foster to glory heaven forever, forever, forever with the Lord. Family, we've done all we can do. Y'all done a good job. I know it's been tough. I'm bragging on you a little bit. You, you've done a great job. <clears throat> but you know, We've gone as far as we can go now. We've done all that we can do. But I, I got some great news for you today in closing. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. Amen. It's just the beginning. I gather out here at Tate's Creek where I go to church every Easter sunrise service. We gather at 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I'll admit, the women don't have the makeup on. A lot of them don't. Don't look, don't look good. <laughs> the men look worse. They're in their jammers and sweatpants. <laughs> We gather around here at 7 o'clock in the morning around this graveside right here. We sing songs, Because He Lives, Roger, I'm close tomorrow. Because He Lives, all fear is gone. We sing songs, Up from the grave He arose with a mighty triumph over His foes. Let me give you some great news today, family. Jesus Christ has conquered this grave. Amen. Oh, amen to that. Jesus Christ has conquered this grave. So continue to be uh, steadfast with the Lord, family. And you know, if you ever need me, I promise you I'll be there. I love all of you, and I appreciate the opportunity to share just a little bit today. And if you ever need anything from me, you let me know. Steph, Roger, y'all let me know. Okay, I love y'all. Most ministers are closed in their prayer. If you don't mind, if you didn't ask me. If you don't mind, I'll close this way. We 